Well, we're here at the Sunrise Cafe in Yellow Springs, Ohio with Chase Whiteside of New Left Media. Chase, tell us what you think the Democratic Party should stand for. Um, well, I'm not, I'm not uh, like a Democratic Party strategist, but I would say that I think what we've seen happen in this last election and previously is that there wasn't a cogent narrative that was pushed by National Democrats. Um, and I think a, a lot of the way elections end up decided today aren't because people are uh, focusing on the particulars of different issues and really understanding them and then weighing what each uh, candidate they would vote for, what the results would be. Uh, because people get their news off the time, if not most of the time, and I'm happy to speak to a local news source, because they get their news most of the time from national news sources who deliver sort of uh, hyperbolic entertainment, news tame, and I call it just sort of news junk. And uh, so I think a lot of people in Ohio, for instance, knew a lot more about Christine O'Donnell's personal dalliances and what, what was going on with, with, her, with her mistakes than they did about Rob Portman's policy positions, even though that he was going to affect them uh, more, than, more than that outcome there. So the Democrats, and that's a bad thing, it's bad that we don't focus on, on, on local elections and local issues and local policies, but that's the reality, I think, of how elections are decided. And the Democrats didn't do a very good job of harnessing a national narrative. In fact, it was their explicit strategy to go in and focus uh, on state by state, uh, uh, election by election, really try to beat back the, the national narrative that conservatives had, which uh, uh, wasn't truly cogent if you looked at it, but it was still like a national anti-Obama, anti-Democrats, anti-government spending message. And I don't think that we had a very good uh, and, and very cogent national response to that. And I think that a lot of that's the result of Obama seeming somewhat detached. And in fact, he said this himself in his, in his own post-election announcement. that he didn't think he was a, the, the, the best salesman of his own, of the Democrats' policies. And so I think that's what we need to see is not just, I don't know that I know what that message should be, nor am I the best person to, I don't even have a bachelor's degree, you know, so if I'm deciding. But uh, uh, but I, I do think that in the area that I, I can offer some insight, I think, in, in the realm of media, that there was no national cogent media narrative from Democrats and uh, that they needed that to, to beat back the, the, the Republicans somewhat cogent national narrative. That would be my response. In fact, our national narrative was basically, we aren't the Tea Party, right? Um, which isn't, I don't think, the best se selling point. So that would be my response.